Welcome back to Sethcraft. In this video, I'm continuing the build of this 10 by 12 shed. Our door finally arrived. We ordered it several weeks ago and it was back ordered, but we now have it. So if you're interested in seeing a French door install, then continue watching. The first step is to bend some metal flashing and then we're going to be putting some sealant or caulking up under here. And that's going to be our bottom plate to make sure that no water ever touches the OSB. We've got plenty of this 10 inch flashing. So we're just gonna go up a foot here on our corners, about right there and uh, just cut this. I'm gonna place the metal flashing into position and just making sure that the metal is flush with the two by fours of the wall. I'm gonna use a little block to introduce that bend. All right, just using some snips, I'm going to cut straight down to match up the corner here. And now I can bend over this edge and then we can bend this down. Yep, I think so. Set it there to make sure we got everything good. Yeah, yep. very nice. Very now that we have the proper bend in our bottom plate, we're gonna use some Lexel caulking to make sure this is adhered to the floor. We're also gonna go up the wall about uh, 11 inches or so. Now that we have that caulking on here, we're gonna place the metal piece down. It'd be ideal to use a roller in this situation, but we don't have one, so just going to apply 215 pounds of weight to it. We could add 430 if you'll stand up. <laughs> I have plenty of extra Tyvek tape. I'm gonna use some of it to make sure that the metal flashing sticks to the side of the building. It's not necessary, but since we have the extra, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're going to be installing this rubberized membrane on top of the metal. where you like it. Yep. Now, sometimes this stuff is stretchy enough that you can go around corners. So we're gonna give that a try real quick. You don't think so? All right, we can just cut it right down at a 45 from the door. Now we have enough membrane that we're going to overlap that other one and go out further than the metal plate out here. So it's gonna go like this. Now I'm gonna take some of this flashing and we'll put it here on the corner, just like this right here and then Take my knife and cut at a 45 here. I can bend these corners in. And then lastly, I'm gonna put some more Tyvek tape to make sure everything is sealed well. Adding a generous bead of caulking here along the inside of the door trim. You never caulk the bottom in case water needs to escape. So we put caulking on the uh, trim of the door. We're also doing on the frame itself on all three sides to make sure that this door makes a nice solid seal. Okay, ready now? Yep.
that was satisfying. Yes, it was. Now we're gonna add some shims to make sure that the door stays in the proper place away from our two by fours. We can break those off later after everything is put into place. Shims have been placed on the back side of the hinges and I'm going to use a three inch screw to go in through one of the holes to lock the door into place. Shims have been installed at about every foot to make sure there is plenty of support in here on both sides of the door. And so on every place that there is a hinge, a three inch screw has gone through, making sure to go through a shim as well into the double two by four behind it. All right, now that all those are done, let's do a test run to make sure this door is actually going to close. The wind's moving around pretty good today, so we had these doors kept back in place. All right, so that one closes nicely. Very good, it's a great fit. All right, we have a few more things to do. We need to install the handle and also the deadbolt. And then up here on the non-primary door, there's gonna be a, a strike plate that goes up top to lock the door up in here and keep it from moving whenever this is opened up. The non-primary door has a strike plate that needs to go right here. And so what I've done is close the door lift up the little bolt and marked where that needs to go. So now I can drill a hole big enough for that uh, little bolt to go up into. And then this strike plate is gonna go on top of that. So let's go ahead and get the drill and drill out a fairly small hole here. It's a bit tight. Woohoo! We're gonna have the door in. The door Just finished getting the door installed and we went ahead and trimmed out everything and also got the other bits of the hardy siding on there. So everything turned out nice. We had a slight difference in height from one side to the other. But what's strange is the frame itself is all uh, leveled out. So um, we're not exactly sure what happened on that. Have the door locked up here just to show you how well the keys work. So we can do that one and then go ahead and undo the deadbolt. Works out really well. Now the plates, for some reason, do not sink down into the door. And uh, you can see that kind of right there. And so we had to actually just trim down slightly right here. And now it fits uh, no problem, just like that. You can step inside real quick and see how well this does. Very good. We've got our shims on the side there. And we wound up putting one board up here to uh, add a little extra space. And it seems to also be doing just fine. Now we're gonna be adding a little bit of foam in here to uh, bridge this gap. Um, but there you go. That's what the door looks like here on the inside. There we go. We added our screw hole up in there for this to attach into. 
And we will have to trim down this little piece a little bit uh, because the placement of our lock here uh, with the door being slightly off right there, we had to move this up a little bit to get that to work right. Now we are going to be adding a step out here. It was kind of an afterthought and it will go from this edge right down here out about uh, two feet and just be a little wooden step for um, supporting this a little bit more up under here and giving them something to step onto as they climb up into their building. The install went pretty smooth. We had a few little issues here and there, but everything has turned out quite nice. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. There are plenty more on the way. I'm Seth with Seth Craft, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.